I'm dreaming of a summer day With palm trees and sunny rays and sunflower fields we run away Hey everyone, it's Mel. Welcome back to my 30-day beach yoga challenge Focus on the chakras. Today we're back to our solar plexus. So come into a seated meditation, closing your eyes. Go ahead and start to set an intention for the next 15 minutes about self-confidence, your ego, and the fire inside of you. So with that being said, go ahead and roll onto your back. Knees apart, feet together, Sudha Baddha Konasana. Bring your right hand to your belly, your left hand to your heart, and then go ahead and breathe deeply into the belly. Meditate on the fire inside of you, visualizing a transformational fire. <sighs> fire is needed for any aspect that involves movement in your life. Movement to digest your food, movement to fuel you and your body to get through the day and also to burn away whatever is no longer needed especially if we're trying to become a better version of ourselves so meditate on that for the next 15 minutes go ahead and extend your legs out big morning stretch and then pull your knees in giving yourself big circles massaging your low back and from here, you're just going to drop your knees to the right for a gentle spinal twist. Gaze is to the left. Beautiful. Breathing and twisting out any toxins in your digestive system. Sending love to your abdomen and your whole entire body today. Drop your knees to the left side. Switching sides. Gaze is to the right. Breathe deep. Allow gravity to do its work. <sighs> Amazing. Coming back through center. And you're just going to go left and right with the knees a few times to your breath. Working into getting that fire burning and igniting today by doing some core work. You can go ahead and try to extend your legs long to make it tougher, but if that doesn't work for you, just keep them bent. Going left and right, squeezing the low back to the mat and letting the feet or knees drop over. Okay, amazing, give it a rest and then go ahead and rock front and back a few times, the length of your mat or the sand or wherever you're practicing. And then go ahead and circle around to hands and knees. Going through a few rounds of cat and cow, Arching the back, looking up as you bend your back and then roll your spine down as you forward fold into cat. Extend your right leg back and your left arm forward, going for a bird dog flow. So you're just squeezing in the middle and then extending the leg out. Squeeze, extend both the arm and the leg. Last time, squeeze in the middle. Reach, and then go ahead and grab the top of your foot for the bind. A nice twisted back bend. Absolutely gorgeous. Doing a lot of crunching today and then a lot of bending. Okay, releasing that, changing sides so your left leg reaches, your right arm out, and then go ahead and take three squeezes in the middle. Incredible. After the third one, go ahead and circle your hand around, grab the top of the foot, and back bend. So pretty. Feeling super strong and open today. Keep kicking into your hand as your hand is pulling into your foot. A constant push and pull. Okay, release your foot. Take a rest. And then curl your toes under and lift your knees one inch off the mat, either holding still or you can tap both knees down. And then push the hips up to the sky. Downward facing dog. Pedaling your knees a few times, warming up the back body. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, push the heels down. Again, inhale, tippy. And then roll yourself down. Knees, chin, or in chest. 
as a modified chaturanga, and then move your way through child's pose. Shine your heart through in every back bend that we do today. Even if this flow is fast paced or difficult for you, keep a smile on your face. It sends the energy that you can do it. Moving through half camel, left and right. So go ahead and grab your right ankle with your right hand, and then go ahead and switch sides to the center. Good. Coming back to child's pose. Coming forward into puppy. Hips are over the knees. And then go ahead and move through a full chaturanga if you can, meeting me in downward facing dog. Pedal your heels, that's our sun A. So just go ahead and take a couple Tippy toe, flex your feet, and then roll yourself back down, chin, chest, and knees. Roll yourself forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Back to half camel on both sides. Reaching your left arm back, and then change sides, reaching the right arm back. So gorgeous. This time, take a full camel. You can start with your hands on the low back, pushing your hips forward, reaching back, and if you have the flexibility, you can go ahead and try to grab your ankles or your calves, and then release down into child's pose. So good. Make your way back down to downward facing dog. And this time, right leg lifts as you inhale. Bend the knee open. Take any movement with your knee or your leg, getting out any kinks. And then go ahead and step the right foot outside of the right hand, rocking front and back into a low lunge. Reach your right arm forward. Good. And then go ahead and drop onto the back knee and then reverse revolve your twist. Beautiful. Planting the hands, looking forward, leap of faith into half moon. Beautiful. Dropping the left hand down for a standing split. Try your best to get the leg as high as you can while keeping kind of square. And then go ahead and step the left foot next to the right. Inhale for halfway. And then exhale, fold. Standing all the way back up to standing, hands to heart center, samastitihi. Inhale back up, exhale forward fold. Inhale flat back, exhale step the feet back, and go through a chaturanga. Beautiful, shining your heart. And then hips to the sky. Left leg lifts right away, bend the knee open. Changing sides, gorgeous, making any movements that you need. And then step the left foot outside of the left hand. Rock front and back. Gorgeous. And then drop onto the back knee. Reverse revolve. Crescent. Gorgeous. Circle the hands down. Look forward. Left fingertips to the left corner of the mat. And half moon. Circle the hands down. Standing splits. And then release the right leg next to the left. Inhale, stand all the way back up tall, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Go ahead and drop your hips down for chair pose. Hips are nice and level, knees are next to each other. Go ahead and twist open to the right so your hands are heart. Beautiful. And then inhale to the center and switch sides. Come back through center, sitting deep in your chair, and then plant your hands beneath you, and then try to place your knees on the back of your arms for crow pose. Beautiful. Step or shoot the feet behind you. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So good. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, heels down. And then right leg lifts on the inhale. Go ahead and flip your dog this time if it is in your practice. Big back bend, dropping your hips to the ground first, and then inhale, push your hips up to the sky. Beautiful. 
Go ahead and step the right foot forward all the way outside of the right hand, right away into side angle. Extending through your arm, pulsing front and back, and then keep the hips low as you open up for warrior two. Right away, flip the palm, reverse your warrior, and then circle the hands down, open up for a dragonfly twist. Right arm is to the sky. Grab the bind or just lift for a side plank. This is the full version I'm showing you with the bind. Wherever you are, just hold side plank. And then you can go ahead and step your feet back, make your way through a vinyasa. Going through to the second side, left leg lifts. Bend the knee open and then open all the way up for your flip dog. Dropping the hips and then lifting the hips. Big back bend, shining your heart through, confident, beautiful. And then step the left foot open right away, extended side angle, pulsing front and back. And then open up, warrior two. Hips are low, 90 degree angle. Flip the palm, reverse your warrior. Beautiful. Circle your hands down, dragonfly twist and then go for your side plank, whatever variation that you took on the other side. Either grab the toe for the full version or you can even just go for a tree side plank or a normal side plank. All right, coming through Chaturanga, meeting me in downward facing dog, looking forward and step or jump to the top a few times, trying our best to get your hips over the shoulders so you can begin to work on to handstands if that might be something that you're interested in. There's so much fun. But once you've done a couple hops, go ahead and meet me in Malasana Yoga Squats. Working into those hips again, you can go ahead and practice going on your tippy toes and then planting the heels just a few times. And then going for the twist, extend the right arm out in front of the right knee and then go for the bind behind the back if you can try it. Good, release, coming back to the center, and then switch sides, left arm out in front of the left knee, and try the bind behind the back. Gorgeous, coming back through center, trying another crow pose, planting the hands, bringing the knees onto the back of your arms. Keep looking up, use your core if you fall, just go right back into it. And those who want to work on headstands, Go ahead and do that now. So you can just drop from the crow pose into the headstand. And you can do any shape that you want. Trying so hard to come back where you started by lifting into that crow again. And then shoot the feet back. I know that's very advanced, but please don't be discouraged when I do these postures. Just let it be your inspiration. So you can keep trying every day when you watch my videos. So go ahead and release. You're going to roll onto your back, doing a couple rounds of some back bends, planting the feet on the ground. You can even grab for your ankles and lift yourself up into bridge pose. Beautiful. Holding here. And then go ahead and release down, taking a breath, and then right away, back to bridge. So you can either hold the bridge or if you want to go for full wheel, you can take that now. Whatever version you're in, please make sure to push yourself, let your heart and your back shine, feeling so strong. You've got this. Holding your deepest version, you can even lift a leg or a knee, always making sure to do both sides if you do that. And then when you're ready, slowly come back to earth, one vertebrae at a time. Pull your knees into your chest. Give your low back a massage. Pulling the knees in. Beautiful. And let's take a nice uh, forward fold to counterbalance. And I love to do shoulder stand for my forward fold so go ahead and lift your legs up to the sky and then you can drop your legs down or your knees down by your ears if that's too much just lift your legs up to the sky and that'll be fine but whatever variation you're in go ahead and breathe sending your back some love and then slowly make your way down 
Beautiful. Open up your knees wide, grabbing your feet for happy baby. Rocking left and right, balancing out the spine. So amazing. And then slowly bring your feet down to the ground, arms by your side, and release into Shavasana. Go ahead and come to a normal breath, decompressing from all the twists, the back bends, the folds. Remembering that when our fire is strong, we dare to live our dreams and be out there in the world doing what we believe in, living in alignment with who we are. So coming to this practice, coming to this breath, Focusing on this beautiful chakra of yours, the solar plexus, can help with your confidence so much and to really shine out in the world like you're meant to be. Keep that in mind. Take a few more breaths. Go ahead and start to move your fingers and your toes, stretching for a big good morning stretch. And then bringing your knees in, rolling onto your favorite side. Good, and push yourself up to a seated meditation. Big inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, pull the hands to the heart. Two more times, inhale up, exhale. Last one, inhale the arms up, pull the hands down, Samastitihi. Namaste, my loves. Thank you so much for practicing with me. It means so much to me. Mwah. Please make sure you're subscribed. And we only have a few more days left of this 30-day challenge. So see you guys tomorrow.